Hello, my name is Dave, and this is Stone Dave Presenters. Uh, today I'm in the Allegheny National Forest, and uh, we're hot tent camping. And uh, I'm just going to kind of road camp. I'm about maybe 100 yards, going to be about 100 yards from the car. And uh, I'm just kind of doing a shakedown um, of my of my kit, my hot tent kit. Um, I'm at 38 pounds, and it fits, doesn't feel too bad. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get on the campsite I'll show you around and uh, we'll get things moving here So this is uh, the spot I'm going to chill at today. And, um, so I pretty much packed up my backpack like I would be taking it out um, regardless if I was just doing a, a backpacking trip. Um, so yeah, it's uh, 38 pounds. Um, I have a pretty big tent. If I were to split this up between two people, it would probably be about 25 pounds. But um, first things first, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get back to the car and grab the rest of the stuff and then uh, yeah, you need to, um, you know, burn one and crack up in a beer and uh, get this camping trip moving forward. Uh, so I got everything down to the camping spot. It's a little bit of a hill. It's about 100 miles from the road. It's not used too much, and uh, the people that use it um, keep it pretty, pretty clean. Um, most of these campsites along here are pretty, are pretty trashed. Um, to be honest with you, but uh, so I, uh, I brought down a four pack. Uh, I'm currently um, drinking uh, um, Lost in the Wilds Brewing Company. It's a, a stout. And um, yeah, cheers. So it's nice and roasty. I brought some good food down. And um, but yeah, it's uh, so I really wanted to test out the hot tent kit. Um, I changed a couple things. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna burn one here. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna get it's gonna get down to like right around freezing tonight. Um, so that's not too bad. Like I said, I'll be able to test out the hot tent, and um, I got a new stove pipe for it. So it's some. Some hash. Some keef. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna film the, me setting up the tent, but I'm gonna show you a couple things. Um, I use a Nord Tent Gamma 4. I, I love this tent. Um, it's a little much for one person, but I can manage I can manage a 40 pound pack uh, for like winter stuff um, I'm not gonna be going in that far um, And if I and if I am in the winter, then I'm not taking the hot tent um, You know, that's just you know, I, I probably I probably wouldn't go in over five miles right around five miles So, um, so yeah, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, um, kind of sh show you how I, I, I pack my, this tent. Um, here's the, uh, these, <laughs> these are the, um, the poles. They weigh the five and a half pounds. Um, so even the poles are heavier than <laughs> most people's hot, the whole hot tents. But 
like I said, I, I really enjoy this. And so, kind of how I pack this in here is I, um, so what I do is I have these straps and I, um, I strap the tent together, these Velcro straps, and pretty much I just pack it in there like that now. Like I said, this tent, the tent, this here weighs six and a half pounds. That weighs about five and a half pounds. So I got it down to about 11 pounds. Um, it's, it's about 13 and a half the way it comes. And um, I took off a, a ton, a ton of cordage that was on here. And I'll show you that in a bit. But pretty much, um, so it makes it, makes it a little easier I know that this is the top and um, so I'm, it's it's definitely um, easier to set up like this and because you know where everything's at so I'll go ahead and uh, get this put up and then show you some other stuff so this is the hot tent all set up like I said this is a north tent from Norway it's the Gamma 4 I do know that they change things around a little bit they have two different tents one for like extreme and one for arctic <laughs> so um but yeah so let me back up a little bit and show you around um so one of the things i did to lighten the load is uh there's like 21 of these guy outs um i don't think i'll ever use them unless like i take this out on some ice um but yeah so i took all them off and I'm not even sure if anyone knows these red um, might be able to get away without even using these these red poles. If anyone's done that, uh, let me know in the comments. And then um, we've got a whole bunch of vents on the top. Um, it pretty much goes the whole way around. And then uh, I'll show you on the inside real fast. So, yeah, so there's the smokestack. There's another vent. Um, so there's a vent there and a vent there. And um, you can see how this skirting on the inside comes up off the ground and this lets a lot of air, fresh air underneath as well. Um, <laughs> the only thing about this thing is it, mice love to run around on it. And I can, <laughs> I can hear them running on that all the time. And then it does have like all these here. I'm thinking about cutting all this stuff off too because it's you can get an inner tent I don't think I'll ever get an inner tent for this um, but so I may cut them off and you can see I got I got some holes I got to repair I'll do that this week there's a bunch of them so uh, yeah maybe I'll do a video on that um, and then again to the outside you can see how all that comes up, and that's for some snow. Um, just to show you how much room's in here. I can't stand up completely, but... So, yeah, there's there's enough, tons of room in here for two people, gear, and the stove. Uh, three people could definitely get in here. Um, it would be a little bit, it would be nice and comfortable with two, though. And, uh, yeah, so this is the North Tent Gamma 4. And this is the smallest one they make, and I believe it's the only uh, freestanding um, hot tent that I could find that, that you could carry around. And so that's kind of why I got it. I like I like how it's freestanding. So um, I used uh, it's a winter well fast fold stove. Um, I chose it. I chose this one um, because there's no. There's no uh, parts, really, that I can lose or screws or anything that I need. Um, and it's, uh, yes, it's pretty easy to set up. So, yeah, like I said, this thing is 
about as easy as it gets really. Um, it's pretty much it setting it up. It's uh, like I said, there's <laughs> no parts for me to lose whatsoever, and uh, yeah, that's why that's why I chose this one. I think this is also the the, the whitest one on the market um, currently. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna put on these are uh, Dyneema gloves. Uh, they're for uh, they're they're cut resistant gloves. They're su they're super ultra light. This is um a, it's a Dyneema stretch woven fabric. Um, I, these are these are like 20 years old actually. Um, and yeah, I mean Dyneema has been used for I think a lot longer than what people realize. Um, and so this is this is my old. Um, it's it's still good. It's um it's just nine foot. So I got a smaller one. And um so I'm gonna show you how I unroll it. Um, this is brand new, so I do have to do a first burn before I get in there tonight for sure. And um so this is uh this this is this it's gonna be seven foot. So. And um, you should probably do this at home, um, but I don't know, I'll probably cry when I don't get it perfect, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Again, this is new, it hasn't formed itself yet, so this is really, really not going <laughs> to work out real well for me, but, you know, as long as you keep,
so you can see um, <laughs> you can see that it's not uh, it's not real easy to do especially if it hasn't been burned in yet um, but you can uh, I found that uh, if you do it this way um, you can get a, a pretty good roll and it won't have no uh, it won't have no dings in it so you pretty much how I roll these up it's um now whenever you do a first burn um, it'll like how I unrolled it it'll go right out but this I mean after you burn it in but this since this is the first burn it's a lot it's a lot more difficult like I said you should do it at home but as you can see um, that's uh that's perfect I don't have no no ding marks anywhere or no bend marks no creases it's gonna look it's gonna look real nice okay so that's the hot tent that's the the stove all set up and uh so that's about i could probably drop that i probably will i'll probably order like a, a six foot piece i think um but and i'll leave um and so you can see that like this pipe is, a, is about as pretty as it can get there's not a single crease in it whatsoever and i know a lot of people have troubles with that now you just got to take your time with it. If you do it the way I showed you, like I say, definitely wear cut resistant gloves. But you could see how how many of these rings I have on there. Um, about one every six inches. And uh, so I'll leave a link to... Um, I'll leave a link to... Uh, to where you can buy a new stovepipe and... Um, and these rings um, I can't remember the company's name but they came super fast and uh, it was I had a few questions and they were great with it so but yeah that's uh that's how you um, roll up a pipe for the first time get before you do your first burn like I said there's some resistance to it I don't really want to do that but um just take your time and constantly move those rings up and down up and down up and down and uh, you'll you'll get a you'll get a nice roll, but like I said, just take your time and make sure you wear gloves. So I figured I'd show you around camp. Um, it's it's still kind of pretty out for sure. So this is you know the fire pit. Um, that's my bag with my sleeping bag and stuff in it. And I still have to set up the inside of the tent and. Um, here's some gear, some grip, and way over here, and there's the, the hot tent burning. And just one note with that titanium, you got to be super careful with that stuff. Um, it is super sharp and it's thin, so you want to watch yourself. And then come over here, there's a little, little crick here, it's cold enough, don't have to worry about the bugs so much. Somebody, some left some wood drying and um so yeah this is kind of what i got going on right behind the tent here so that's pretty much the campsite so i figured i'd show you my sleep system um first i start off with this uh i put this blue tarp down it weighs pretty light it's about 10 ounces um, and then, like everyone else, you see, it, it, this stuff works. This is just the car window um, insulator. It definitely works. And then I have um, the Nemo. The, uh, I don't know, it's like the 5.9 or value one. Um, my Feather Friends 20 degree bag for this trip. I love I love them I love feathered friends bags they're nice and then this is newer for me a pillow um, I just <laughs> I just started using a pillow at home and um, camping I never used one my entire life but uh, 
it's it's about time and then um, I have the Appalachian gear bag liner um, and so this is this is my uh, pretty much my 20 degree setup I'll be replacing I'll be getting the next therm this year so um, but yeah that's pretty much my my uh, cold winter camping um, sleep system and that's uh, it works well for me it, down the down the 20 I'm, I'm toasty um, like I said the mat gets a little tiny bit cold especially like um, on the on the sides um, so I think once I get the X therm that'll fix that problem but I figured to show you my sleep system for my uh, winter camping before it got too dark Camping, so so I'm gonna cook in the fire tonight. Some sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna take all my I'm gonna take all my food that I don't eat back up to the car since I'm car camping. Um, But yeah, I like to make this while I'm camping. I got other food too, so. butter and we just kind of fold it up and uh, this is going to be really good later um, and then what I do is put a bunch of water in there That'll get good with the lamb chops. My beer. This is my my little command center for the night. And yeah, I got the. It's starting to get dark now. We got like a a slither of the moon. Smoking some runts muffin today, but yeah. So I figured in this video I'd just kind of show you um, kind of my hot tent setup and part of my winter gear, and uh, you know, do a little camping food and call it a relaxing night in the woods. That's for sure. But yeah, I got a mess now. Kind of checking out this new light, filming at night. <coughs> um, it's a loom cube. That's probably probably the, the last last bit of gear I'd buy as far as like video and stuff. But uh, I, I 
I'm always rolling in the camp at night and I'm up till till late and it's it's really hard to film without a light. So I'm enjoying it. This is the third trip I've used it on, so um yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh kind of get a fire going and uh get get that in there. That'll take about an hour to cook. So um yeah, and then uh, I'll get into the um, lamb, and then I got some um, some beans, some uh, hobo beans, my buddy's possum's recipe. Super good. So yeah, I'm going to um, smoke a bunch more ganja, drink some beer, and get that fire going. That's uh, how you cook some fresh lamb there. Yeah, I didn't. I forgot to bring some utensils. So. So, <laughs> let's see what we got today. I forgot everything pretty much. So, got some lamb. Let's see how that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's perfect. Then, um, So, what we got is, we got some, um, some beans and, uh, hamburger and, uh, bacon. And these is, um, sweet potatoes, onions, and red peppers. And I put, um, a bunch of this, uh, habanero jalapeno cheese in it. And, um, so yeah. Oh, that's fire. Hmm. I couldn't have been. Oh, my God. These uh, sweet potatoes hit hard. Oh, just look at that. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's on. It's 35 degrees outside and it's it's up to 65 in here and that's with a thermometer like on the ground. So the fire's burning out outside and decided to come in the tent. Burn one. Finish this beer. Crash. It's like noon. I mean, not noon. It's like midnight. But uh, yeah, it's nice and snuggy in here. Definitely. Yeah, this tent could definitely have um, be super comfortable with two people. You could bring me have two little chairs and uh, both your sleep set up and all your wooden gear and, um, and have plenty of room. And three people could definitely chill in this tent too I think um, yeah get this tent nice and smoky wakey bakey Well, uh, I just finished getting camp call cleaned up. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, the, the cold temperature, it dropped to about 32 degrees last night. I was super toasty warm, had no problems even after the, um, the stove went out. Uh, I just stayed super warm. Um, the mattress got a little cold again around the edges. Um, so I, I think that's just just that Nemo tensors like that, and um, but yeah. So and I, you know this this thing here, the Thermo Drop. Oh, this is awesome. Every every backpacker should have one of these. I'll leave um, I'll leave links to all my everything I used on this trip. Um, at none of it's all this stuff's my stuff. I don't um, I don't. No one gives me anything for sure, but um, but this the third I'll leave a link for this, and this will be an Amazon affiliate link. Everything else will be just links to the companies. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, I hope you got a little bit of insight um, on uh, my my how I hot tent and my setup, and uh, you know. Maybe you can maybe learn something. Maybe uh, maybe you can teach me something. And if you can, definitely drop a comment down below. Because um, I'm, I'm this is my third season in the hot tenting. Um, but you know, the first season was only a couple trips. And um, I, I do plan on getting um, a, a lighter hot tent, um, like a TP style, a sm much smaller one. Um, that way I can. Uh, Take it further. Like I said, I know that there's a new stove coming on the market, and it's it's going to come in at, at under two pounds. It's a smaller titanium stove. So um, when that comes out, the other hot and I uh, get a lighter hot ten. I should be it should be around five pounds for both of those, and we'll know we're near as bulky. Now I I love that tent, and and like I will definitely. Uh, like I said, I'll hike in with it, and uh, there's a couple of tweaks I'm still learning um, with it. Uh, mostly like how to pack everything. Um, yeah, everything's so much more bulkier, and in the winter time, everything's bigger, you know. So, um, but I'm, I'm pretty much got it dialed in now, and I feel comfortable to take it in the back country. But uh, like I said, I mean, it's it is definitely a castle. It's it's it's, it's a really really big tent. Um, for for us backpackers and uh but i think with two people it would be absolutely perfect um you know but it, by the time you split the weight up between the, the stove and the tent and um you know your saws and stuff like i said i think you could easily get in to about 25 pounds a person and that's uh that's that's just a nice nice number there especially for winter camping but um 
again thanks for coming along if you like this kind of stuff subscribe like tell a friend um write a letter what <laughs> whatever it be but uh thanks again and uh i'm gonna get up to the car and uh cruise back home